It's not rising up. <laughs> it's the southern yet, yeah, sorry. So I first came to Rom in 2015 and why am I standing here in Bosnia in 2022 when, <laughs> why would I be here? Well, I think the reason is that once I came in 2015, I came to talk about uh, getting into politics, being involved, being a good leader, uh, and it was all kind of great and it was kind of talking, but I met people that really, and I can say this very sincerely, helped shape me and change my life. It's always the way you go to help people, but actually end up being helped yourself. Um, and I basically sit, sat there and said, you, know, you should be the change you want to be. You should do all these amazing things in the world. Um, but actually internally, I was still wrestling with what that meant. What does it mean to be an ambassador for a better world? What does it actually mean to renew your mind and keep making those decisions on the way, not just getting stuck where you are? And it was through great conversations, both with uh, the leadership of Rom and people I met, that really helped me on that way and got me involved. So I came back again in 2016 and then again in 2017 on the team because I believed in what I was seeing. And then here in 2022, I can say, actually, I made the step just last year to get uh, selected to be a candidate in our local elections in the UK. A step that's taken me quite a long time because it takes something very personal to do that. I couldn't have done that without the support of people around me from Rom, without the teaching I got to be brave. And there are people in situations I know at Rom who are in much worse positions than I am in the UK who face, you know, threats for a political belief or a religious belief. Um, you know, whereas for myself in the UK, what was I really worried about? Maybe my own reputation, maybe what people might say if I don't get elected. And so I thought, I have to do what I've been teaching all these years at Rom. I have to kind of put the money where the mouth is, as it were, and take this step. And I'm really thankful for that. But not just for the practical action, I'm thankful that Rom actually built my own faith in this world. And I'm a believer in Jesus. And actually, Rom for me was really refreshing to see other expressions, to see other nationalities embrace the same God. Even if we were talking about things like politics, uh, even if we were having jokes on the side or doing international nights, actually you could see something of heaven in that. And it was incredibly special for me. It was special for me also as a leader being able to serve others. And, you know, going back to politics, we're supposed to be people that serve one another. Uh, our prime minister is supposed to be a prime servant, the chief servant. And for me, it, it shaped me internally. And I'm massively grateful for what Rom has done, both in my practical life, but also in my spiritual life. And it, to be honest, it's also given me a family. And so I stand here right now in Bosnia, in Trebinje, and really excited, I think, about what the summer has. I might come to Rom as a different person, as it were, but I know that I have friends with me for life. Um, and here as well, it is so evocative to be somewhere bordering different nations. For me, kind of almost going back to the start of what Rom is and why we should all be someone able to take that step and why I think Rom is well worth continuing, investing in and backing for the future.